Hi, everybody. It's Agnes, and I have got another interview for you today. Today, it's with Jay. Hello, Jay. Hi, how are you? Good. Thank you for coming and uh, joining us for the interview to share your success story. Can you just share where you are on the Google map? I am on the West Coast, United States. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Good stuff. It's good to know where people are around the world when we do interviews. Sure. So, okay, you and I had a conversation via email and you said you would hop on and share your success story because you said that a lot of the success stories you heard were really helpful to you and now it's come full circle and you are able to come and share your story. So I'm going to hand it over to you. Do you want to share a bit about where you started and then what happened and then where you've ended up? Sure. Um, sure, where I started. Uh, <laughs> Um, as far as how, where my story started with relationship. Yeah. Right. Like okay. what, uh, what, yeah. What actually got you to, well, first, what got you to look at success stories yourself? Well, how did that begin? Well, um, so when, so when this relationship, I guess, went south, um, and, I think I, I just started to look at myself because, um, you know, I felt, I felt like there was this common factor in these relationships, which was me, even though friends of mine would say, oh, um, you know, it's, it's not you, these people aren't good enough or, or um, you know, somebody wouldn't have walked away from you if they were good enough for you. But in, inside, how, you know, how you just know, you're like, there's something I'm doing. There's something that's just not right. So I, I felt like I just had to look at myself and what I was doing. Um, after a while, you have to you have to take responsibility. And then in this, you know, this was somebody that I had met online and I, I really liked and, and we had a, a great connection and it's and it was some somebody that I felt I had pushed away and I had sabotaged and and I knew that I knew that deep inside and I wanted to make it right but I felt like I, I had to make myself right I, I just was to that point and so I just I started searching I started looking online and and I came to you you know I, I, you know how you just you search and you, you do different kinds of searches, 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 and yeah. I think the right thing comes to you at the right time when you need it. Um, yeah. And, Can you and, give us a bit of a timeline? Like when when did you first start looking? When what when was that? It um, it would have been in um, uh, April two thousand eighteen. Okay. March, April, 2008, because I started seeing yeah. him at the end of 2017. We started dating um, or, yeah, we started chatting, dating, end of 2017. We started seeing each other beginning of 2018 um, and we had seen each other, um, you know, for three or four months. We were having a great time. And then, you know, I did something just <laughs> ridiculous and, um and, and I think that's just, you know, it was like a turning point for me. Why would, you know, why would I do what I did to somebody yeah. that I really liked, who, who I was having a great time with? And this was, you know, I think I'd finally met somebody who was just not going to put up with that. And, and, and it was, what was tough for me was he just, he just totally shut me down, shut me out. And I could not reach it. I could not, <laughs> you know, I could, he just, yeah, it was... I think it was a blow to my ego for one. Um, and for two, I think I just had to um, figure out why did this keep happening? Um, and I think I said in, in my letter, to, in my email to you that um, I knew it was me. I knew it was something I just needed to work on. Like, why was that? Why did I keep doing this? And I, and I was ready to do that. You know, I was ready to, um, I was ready to try something different and not just keep jumping and say, oh, you know, well, um, he wasn't good enough for me then. Or, or you know, how you, you chat with yeah. your friends and they're like, well, 
um, that wasn't so bad what you did. If, some, if somebody really liked you, they could have put up with that. And it's like, well, mm, yeah, maybe, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. How many times do you want to do that? And I knew this was a quality person. I knew this was somebody I wanted in my life and um, I needed to, I needed to make some changes. Uh, so, mm. um, and, and I could not get him to, <laughs> to respond to me and that, and that bothered me too. Um, so yeah, so, so I thought, well, so I saw your videos and that you made sense to me and, um, I reached out to you and you just, you know, you gave me some very good advice and, and I, you know, I was all over the place too. And you're just like, there's nothing wrong with you. And, and I think I said that to you in my email too, where even though that sounds simplistic, I, when you said that, it calmed me down because mm -hmm. it was just, um, I don't know, sometimes when somebody says something to you, it, it just resonates. And that, to me, that was, and I remember writing that in my, I was taking notes when we, when we spoke the first time. And you know, when you, when you said to me, oh, there's nothing wrong with you. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. And so I just like went with that. And then you just gave me some exercises and things to work on. And, um, and I remember, I remember saying, well, should I, should I do this? And you're just like, just calm down. Just, yeah. And so I just started working. You know, I started doing the meditations. I started, and it just really, it just, things started turning around so quickly. Um, and I think that, I, I think that, um, it's just, it's getting your mind, <laughs> you know, it's just, mm -hmm. I, 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 I don't know, like I'll look on your, I'll look at your videos and I'll look at some of the, it's, it's such a journey. Um, it's, it's so interesting to see, you know, people who are new to it, to people who've come so far and it, you wish you could just say, calm down and, and do it and yeah. let it, let it progress. But yeah, everybody has to, you have to be on your own journey. And, um, and, and I remember, um, I, if, if I'm talking too much, just stop me. But no, no, go ahead. Watching something with, um, uh, um, what is it? Abraham. I can't think of yeah. the name. Abraham um, Hicks. Yeah. Uh, um, Esther, Esther. Yep. And she was just saying, um, uh, enjoy, not enjoy the journey, but you're going to be so, you, you'll be so sorry that you didn't enjoy because it, when it happens, it happens fast. And, the, and you do kind of regret that you, because yeah. all of this self discovery and all of the self love and all of, it's such a good time. If you're worrying so much about when it's going to happen, you miss out on all of the good stuff and you really do because it's such good stuff. Yeah. And that sometimes you have to, because when it happens, it, it just happens. It's, it's, it's such a gift. Um, so make sure you have to make sure that you're enjoying it, not just going through the motions. And because um, if you read the book, um, love yourself, like your life depend mm -hmm. depends on it, depended on it. Yeah. Um, yes. Sometimes you you can just be going through the emotions, but it is resetting your brain. It is resetting. You can just I love myself. I love myself mm. because you are changing. Um, no matter if you're believing in it or not, you are changing, and things can happen. You know, quickly, and you don't want to miss out. You know, you don't want to miss out mm. on uh, what's happening to you. So you ha I, 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 you have to enjoy it. Enjoy your change. You know what yes. I mean? So enjoy that yeah, time. I agree. Enjoy your time alone. Enjoy your self-discovery. And because then you're going to have this other person in your life. And that's a whole different, <laughs> you know, yeah. you have to get used to that too. So Exactly. You know, and you can have the relationship and continue your self-discovery at the same time too. But it's, it, but it's a different. It's different. Um, yeah. You, then you have to adjust that you don't have as much time for it and mm -hmm. and and you miss it a little bit you yes. know so yes. or at least I did then I had to you have to adjust in a different way yeah so um I know so many people you know you just want it you want it you want it but enjoy this too mm. you know 
because it is a nice time, you know, it it's, it, it's a nice time to, to learn about yourself and enjoy that enjoy. And so many other things come with it too. When I look back at some of my journals and some of the things I wrote down uh, that have, that have happened that I, it, it's <laughs> so many things can come to you uh, it, because you're so open now and you're so open to receive and, and, and you're relaxed and it, just enjoy. Mm. You know? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just about this relationship, but it, it is and it isn't because you can be open to so many things now. Exactly. I agree. And you learn things that you never even would have known had you not been in the pain you were in from the separation or someone leaving you. You never would have learnt what you've learned and the specific person really is your teacher of discovering those things. Oh, definitely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah. And it, and it, so it can is. I ask yeah. you, can I ask you a few questions? Mm -hmm. When you said April, just to get a bit of a timeline, April, 2018, you started searching around Mm -hmm. You were still trying to contact him and he wasn't responding. Is that what was happening? And then you finally had to stop trying to chase him or how, what was that in between part? Well, um, I didn't really chase him too much. You know, I had sent him, um, I had sent him this, you know, I started to get kind of needy and clingy, which was just a turnoff for him. And then he just stopped that. That was the first thing that happened. And then I had just reached out to him periodically and he just, you know, he, nothing, nothing. Yeah. And um, what, what was hard was, you know, we had no common contacts. We had no, like, I didn't see any way that, I just didn't see any way that this was going to happen. It, how, mm. how, you know, we were, and I had even asked you that. I'm like, should I, should I keep trying? And, and you're like, no, just not for now, <laughs> not for now. And so, yeah. um, so so March, April, nothing, um, it, you know, and he's, you know, he's, he's somebody who tours and he's out of the country a lot. And so, um, yeah, so, so I would reach out periodically, but not a lot, you know, just here and there. And I would try to know the difference between like being inspired to reach out and being just desperate to reach yeah. out. And I think I was good yes. about that, you know, and I ask him that now. And he's like, no, I didn't think that you <laughs> reached out too much, you know, like, and he, and we have good conversations about it now. Cause I try to you know, yes. like, find out like what he was thinking or how he was feeling. And um, yeah, and, of course, you know, and he, he does say, you know, he's like, I would have eventually reached out to you. I, he said, he thinks he would have, yeah. but he was going through some things too, you know, yeah. and he just, um, you know, so anyway. So it was April. Um, so I had sent the, the text message in March and then I hadn't, we didn't reconnect again until like end of June. Okay. Yeah. About three months. Mm -hmm. mm, that's good. Yeah. That's a good amount of time to really work on your self love and your self, your affirmations, whatever other techniques, what did, what techniques did you use? What were your favorites? Um, my favorite was the um, whispering technique. Um, I okay. love that because I, I really felt like I got good at that. I felt like I could almost, was almost talking to, I really got good at that one. Um, and, um, you know, I did, I just did a lot of the self-love, um, the, and the one I'm not, you know, I was kind of questioning whether I would mention this one, like the revision. Yes. Um, I, I tried revision right at the end and I had such a problem with it because it got very emotional for me Yes, because I tried to, I tried revision with the, the actual incident <laughs> and yeah. I was super emotional. Yeah. But I would, um, I would rework how I wished I had the text message. I wished I had sent and how I wished, yes. you know, but the funny thing is the reason I mention it is, I had done it a few times and right after I had done the revision, um, I heard from him. So I mention it because 
I think maybe it did work, but I had such a hard time with it. Yeah. That um, I don't know. I don't know if <laughs> it worked or, or not, but I definitely, you know, it was, it may have been a turning point. I don't know. But I, mm -hmm. the one I used the most and the one that I felt most comfortable with was definitely the whispering technique. I, I really okay. enjoyed that the most. Um, and and um, did, did you do it with a meditation or you did it like in the silence just by yourself? I did it with the meditation. And yeah. then what's, what's the one where you, um, you talk to the person face to face and you say the love, the unconditional love. Uh, is it unconditional love? One is that sending the un unconditional sending love? Where you? S yes, yes, it is that one. Yeah, and that that one I did a lot. I, um, I just really liked the positive ones. You know, where I could feel like I could almost feel like I was with the person, and I, I got really good at that, and it felt it was happy. I like the happy ones, but the revision, mm. I don't know. I, like I said, after I did revision, I don't know if, yeah, you know, I, I don't know if I, I feel like it almost really did work, but it was very tough for me. <laughs> it was, well, uh, it is tough because if you're revising something that was really emotionally painful, when you go to try and revise it the first few times, it's like you reinfect yourself with the negative emotion of the original thing that went bad. Right. So I'm glad you brought this up but it's like if you persist which sometimes people can't because they keep going into bad emotions so they go I don't want to do that so they kind of don't go back to it but it sounds like you must have done enough you yes it is painful yes you relive it but maybe you did it enough that you turn the tide plus your whispering plus the whispering technique you, you know you did those two things maybe it was enough to just tip it over the 51 percent I think it did because because after that, and then doing this the, uh, after after I did the revision, and then I was reading the um, the Kamal Ravikant book, and I started yeah. doing the I love myself and the revision. I heard from him, and then he was kind of like you know that text message wasn't that bad, and I thought well maybe I did do the maybe the revision changed. Yeah, it. wow. Uh, so I well, that's, that's why good. I mention it. So yeah. Isn't it nice to find out later what someone really felt about what you were doing at that time when you weren't yes. together? It's nice to get some feedback on it later, isn't it? It's really nice. And, you know, and I do tell him, I tell him that I was working on myself and I took, and I said, you know, I, I said, sending that message was really out of character for me. And he, he agreed with that. He's like, you know, you were so cool and we're having such a good time. And, you know, he's an, he's Australian. And they're no yep. drama. They don't do drama. No. They don't do. No. And he's super cool, and he's an entertainer and and a, a musician. And and he's like, you know, I, I, we were having such a good time, and and you know, it's it's a different kind of vibe. And and it was just it was just kind of a. And he's like, and he's like, you know, it really wasn't that bad. But I was going through this, that, and the other, and and the person I was dating before was that way all the time and it just was bad timing it was bad everything and and so it is it is interesting to talk to the person afterwards and he's like you know under normal circumstances I might have just blown it off and said but you know the time apart was good too because it I'm a better person mm. and yeah yeah when you're, when you're going through it you don't say those things you're like oh my god no <laughs> but yeah when you have time to reflect and look back yeah. like you said you want you 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 wish you would have enjoyed that time more at the time yep. you're pan you're panicking and you're like what did I do and how could I and I'm not yeah. saying it was perfect I've had moments I had moments where I almost did it again believe it or not and then you have yeah. to catch yourself and yep. you have to just go back to the drawing and you have to you know I'll take I'll just I'll go in my office I'll shut the door and I'll put on one of your, you know, I have them right on my phone. I have them like an emergency button. And I'll put my earphones yeah. in and I'll just start, you know, yes. and I'll listen to your voice and I'll just repeat and, and it, it, it'll pull you right back, you know. It does. You right back and, yeah. And it's, you're never, you know, you're never out of it. You, you, you know, it's never perfect and nobody's no, perfect. I agree. And, and I think as and long as ongoing. you. And it's it's not it like is. you get your person and then you never have to do any work. 
you know, I've interviewed lots of people, as you know, and some of those people, you know, not, not, not a huge amount, but some of those people have emailed me six months or a year later and they've lost their relationship again because the relationship was good because they did all that work and then they go back to focusing on that. They drop all this because they're not feeling bad anymore. Right. And then it three months, six months, eight months, it starts to slide. You start doing your needy stuff again and then it just blows up again. So this is a lifestyle. It's not something you just do to get your person back. This is for you. To be absolutely a non needy, non putting it on other people kind of human being. It's for you to be respectful of others and to really know that you because you do tip from giving love to getting love. You know, we go in and out of that sometimes. So it's reminding ourselves this is about giving love and understanding and continuing to be more calm and at peace within myself. Uh, I, I think that's an ongoing lesson for life. I really do. It has to be. It's just like um, it's it's just like trying to lose weight to get into a dress to go to a Christmas party, and then yeah. after that, you're just like you go back to you know eating the way you did, and it's like what's the point? You know, it's like yeah. you want to you want to eat for a lifestyle to always be healthy and um, mm. to change the way and always look good and always be healthy and. And that's another thing you told me because, and that you know, that, you know, there's certain things that people say that click with you. You know, you you're like, well, you teach fitness, so treat this like you treat that. You know, it's yeah. a discipline, and it is. It's it's a discipline. It's, it's like a mental discipline. Why would it be any different? It is. It's a yeah. lifestyle, and um, when you feel yourself, you know, getting out of control eating, you you stop doing that, and how whatever it takes for you to remember do that yeah because it's not like you're just it's not like you're trying to win a prize this is a person and it's your life and yes yes you know and 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 they're worth it they're worth and and your relationships worth it and yes and they and they deserve that uh, and sometimes you know when I when I met him I was trying to get away from something toxic and you know he's such a great person and we have such a wonderful life together and it makes you realize how some of the people in your life were so bad too so if the person you're with is worth it why wouldn't you you know why wouldn't you Mm -hmm. continue to work on yourself and and better yourself for that relationship and you know Mm. it is it's an ongoing thing so yeah and you really see how well you're traveling within yourself by looking at your relationship, how well it's doing. If it's you're having issues, if you're arguing, if you're not talking, if you're, you know, whatever disturbances you have in a relationship, it's a direct reflection of you. So the relationship isn't going well. You go, well, hang on, what have I got going on within me that I need? What do I need that I'm creating that? What do I, am I not doing for myself? Not enough sleep, not enough exercise, not enough doing the things I love to do. I'm focusing on him. I'm starting to blame him I'm starting to get annoyed at what he's not doing for me as soon as you go down that path that's a big red flag yep yep and, and it happens and it, it happens does and you just need to reset just reset, you reset. and catch yourself just yes it, like you said just catch it and and yeah take them and it doesn't take long you know take um take 20 minutes and <laughs> Go in your office. Yeah, you know, put headphones in, and it's you can you can reset quickly, and you can. You can change your your mindset quickly, and um, you know it doesn't take it doesn't take much to make your man happy, you know. There it doesn't. It doesn't. And, <laughs> and I think you that you have to make your man happy, but if you want your if you want things to work, it's you know you, it is you. You it starts with you, and yeah, um, it, yeah, it's. Because, yeah, it, it, I, I hope that's making sense. But, yeah, yeah you, 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 like you said, you know, you know when you're trailing off and you're not yeah. doing what you need to do. Yeah, you so, do. Yeah, and as soon yeah. as you start sentences in your head as to, oh, he's not doing, as soon as you start a sentence in your head between you and you with that, he's not doing this anymore or he's not um, calling me enough or he's not, as soon as you do a he's yes. not sentence, this, you're way gone it's, past. You're off the, yeah. you're in the bushes. You've gone off it's, the path. <laughs> it's time. It's time. 
and you know, and another thing, yeah. is, um, uh, I noticed somebody had said in that letter when I said, if your if your house and your yard aren't clean, then um, you're not doing enough. Yeah. And somebody said, oh, what did she mean by that? And I tried to answer it on the page. But I mean, I, it was the figure of speech, but it was also literal. Like when mm-hmm. I was um, mm-hmm. when I was um, doing the meditations, sometimes you get caught up so much in. You can do too much too. you can just sit around and meditate, you can sit around and pine. And, and yeah. And I was, um, I think sometimes when you search, you find, and I had read something that if you're not completing tasks, the universe um, isn't going to complete your requests either. So if you're sitting around with all of these, if you're just meditating and um, putting out uh, affirmations, but you're sitting around and your house is a mess and your work tasks aren't complete. The universe is like, uh, 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 you know, yeah. you're not completing your work. I'm not completing your requests. And I thought, well, that makes sense because you do sometimes mm-hmm. get caught up in this so much that you want it so much. You're doing all of this affirmations, but you're not really getting your, your, your life's kind of on hold. Yes. And I noticed that was happening with me a little bit. And so I thought, you know, I woke and I'm like, well, I'm going to, I started cleaning out closets. I I cleaned my yard. I clean. I got everything at work done, and I just got so much done. But I did it with headphones on, and I listened mm-hmm. to your noble uh, nuggets, and I listened yes. to this, and I listened. And the right thing will come to you at the right time, and and it does. And so I completed everything. So I, I mean, that is a figure of speech to have your your house clean, your office clean, and your mm. yard clean. But it was also literal too. Yes, complete yes. tasks. You know, I don't agree. don't yeah. leave things undone. And when you when you show when you demonstrate that to the universe, the universe will also complete your your requests. You know, yeah. which I found to be true. Mm. So, yeah. yeah, I agree. I agree with that. It's cleaning up all all the nooks and crannies everywhere, whether it's physical, mental, or emotional. It's clean cleaning things up so that you are in the best balanced and calm and steady state you've got to be in that state to then attract you know when you're all over the place emotionally like you say your house is a mess there's chaos in your head there's chaos around you it just attracts it goes out as a projection that then gets photocopied and brings in more chaos it just does i i think so i think it does and um and you feel better when you wake up and everything's in order and 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 if you do if you do get that call of hey let's do something and, and you're like oh okay yeah oh I don't have a million things to do I'm ready I'm I'm good to go and yeah and, you know and another thing that I know <laughs> like I said stop me if I'm just rambling but like like little things I noticed like <laughs> like like brushing my, like I was like brushing my teeth hard and when I would put lotion on it was hard. it's like just be gentle with yourself you know brush yep. your teeth softly put your lotion on yeah. softly yeah. and little like everything just be nice with yourself and yeah I think you get so upset with your <laughs> do everything calm and nice yeah. and I think you'll, you'll start noticing mm. um, it, it all comes together so true. that's true I really yeah. like um that thing of having a shower and then putting cream on my feet, you know, because when it's summer, yes. like where you are, where it's hot, you end up with these crunchy heels and yes. it's just like, ugh. So part of that is you get out of the shower, you brush your teeth gently, you put your cream on nicely and you cream your feet. Your feet yes. deserve respect. That's part of self-love. So it's those little things you're talking about. It's how do I treat myself moment by moment? And, yeah, when you're angry or anxious, you do brush your teeth fast. You do put stuff on fast. And it's not respect to the self. I, I really yes. like that you brought that one up because it's, tr- it's true. Yeah. Well, I noticed I was doing it. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's just little things. And mm. it's just, I, just, I, I think um, you never know what somebody might hear that might resonate with them and it's things that resonated with me and some yeah. things you some things and you know try everything you know I listened to a lot of things and some things worked 
Yeah. And yeah. some things didn't. And, and, um, exactly. like, um, you, you know, the, like, I can't draw, I can't really draw pictures and things like that. But, um, one of your success stories, she drew little cartoons and I started like drawing things out things those the, every little picture I drew of the were it happened those things happened so fast even though they were horrible yeah. horrible drawings yeah. oh my god yeah but, yeah that was Jay that was it, the woman yes, Jay in Taiwan yes. I remember her yes yeah <laughs> and I thought well I'm gonna try, I, you know I, I'm like I'll try different things oh my gosh those things have if I when I look back at my journals those things unbelievable the things that yeah. happened with that so yeah try different things have fun with it yeah. and try not to but be it's so almost like you're proving it to yourself that it works like you hear someone's interview or you hear someone's success story and you go oh, yeah that's nice what's the point of doing that but she I remember Jay she used to put music on and she made it fun and she really enjoyed that whole it was to do with the rubbing out technique I remember and it's like well you took from her story and then now you've got the experience of I did some drawings. They weren't great by my standards. They weren't that great, but I did them and they came true. So it's like now it gives you that confidence to use that technique another time for something else. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, because um, because I'm always, I always thought, oh, well, you have to be good at that. To, uh, because I would always say, oh, I can't draw. It's like, well, who said you had to? Like, who's going to see it? It's mine. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah. My, my journal. <laughs> You know, who cares what it looks like? Who cares? Um, but yeah, it makes it easy. And sometimes you don't want to just sit and write. So I thought, no. well, I'm gonna give it a try, and you know, yeah. whatever, whatever is, works for you. And don't be so serious. And and I know it's hard. Yeah. It's it's hard to. Um, and and like I said, the right thing will come to you at the right time. I remember being discouraged one night, and and I turned something on of yours, and and you you were talking about take a break from this and I, I, yeah. it was just so funny how I'm like oh like you give like it come, came to me when I needed a break and I'm like I'm not yeah. doing anything I'm not writing yes. I'm not journaling I'm not doing anything this weekend and you feel like oh god if I don't do anything then it's all gonna stop yeah. and, and but take a break if you need a break and yeah the the universe knows what you want and it's not gonna stop your yeah. progress and no it, it's it's all it's all good it's all happening and you know it's it, yeah, you can't do it wrong it can't you can't do it wrong but um I, I don't know it's it's when it ha and and it happens fast when it happens so yeah put your have mm. your body ready have your house ready and and enjoy all of it yes and yeah and just, you know and and know that when it happens you're gonna have to adjust your life and and find a new way to do everything and you know mm -hmm. it, it's it's just it's all good and and when it happens it's god it's just great <laughs> it's great it is it really is it really is and you realize that you you stop the trying to get there and you start to let go because I think letting go allowing and surrendering are three very underutilized things in the law of attraction and in this type of work that we do trying to manifest a specific person or or any other subject for that matter i think it's very much learning to yes you do some of the techniques but then you've got to let go and allow you and that means you go and do something else you go get off it you go walk you go play basketball you go to a movie you go out dancing with your friends, whatever you love, just get off it and go and take your focus elsewhere purely for the fun of it. And then it recharges your battery. So then when you go back to doing the techniques, your head's fresh. Because a lot of people are trying to do these techniques seven days a week and they're crashing and burning from exhaust, mental exhaustion. You can't keep up that pace. And if you're exhausted, that energy won't manifest what you want. It'll manifest what you don't want. It'll create a miscreation because the energy of exhaustion is quite negative. You feel negative when you're exhausted. That's what that goes out. Right. I, I, think, I, I truly believe that. And when you take a break, it just feels so nice. And then yeah. you're ready again. And um, yeah. the universe knows what you want. 
it's not going to yeah. forget that yeah. and yeah. breaks are good. And yeah, I totally agree yeah. with that. You don't want that frant hectic yeah. energy. No, that, that, that I like your, uh, <laughs> Fast toothbrush, <laughs> fast toothbrushing <laughs> energy. That energy, you don't want that. <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh, I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna brush my teeth. So uh, I don't know. You know how things just occur to you. I'm like, this is. I know. God, just be like gentle doing? with yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. It's just a silly thing, but it's it's a small thing, but a big thing. I think. Yeah. It is. It's a mindfulness moment, isn't it? It is. It is. And yeah. To, yeah, go get a massage and get yeah, yeah. get your toes done or whatever. Yeah. And, yeah, or clean out a closet and that yeah. can be cleaning out a closet can be very uh, meditation in itself. Right. You know. Definitely. Definitely. Getting rid of stuff you don't need, you don't want that don't reflect who you are anymore. You're making space. You're creating that vacuum for other people. More yeah. clothes. Other clothes smaller clothes whatever you've lost weight whatever you've got going on it's making a, that space a vacuum for it it's very important yep I totally yeah agree. yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. this is good it's lovely look it's lovely to hear just so many of you start to I just think this is why I do what I do is to hear people that have done it, they've applied it. The, yes, they've got their relationship, but they're still working on their self-love, they're maintaining it. I just, it's so satisfying to hear. It's like people are mushrooming out around the world doing this and, and then they're paying it forward and teaching other people and it's <clears throat> so, yeah. so Well, and, and you come from such a, a good place and, um, you know, there's so many people out there that, um, I know you make a living off of this, but you don't give the impression that you're money motivated and you're, you know, you're, you, mm. you're very from the heart and you believe this and you, you give so much, you know, to, you I know you just, so, you're so real and, and your message is so good and, and yeah, it has mushroomed out and. And like I said, I, I was nervous to do this, but I felt obligated to do this. And yeah, it, it's helped me. You've helped me. And then all of the other stories have helped me. And you never know yeah. what might help somebody else. So definitely, um, definitely. Yeah. yeah. And it's even really the, um, the helping. Weekend. It's like you're passing the bat. The, you know, when you do a relay, you pass the, yes. the relay stick to the next person. Then they run the next bit. And it's like we're constantly passing it back for the next person to pick it up. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, I think it's important and yeah, it's, it's important and it's all, and it's good. It's a good it thing. Is. It is. Jay, thank you for coming and sharing all that. Cause it is, um, you know, I always said to myself when I was reading success stories, hang on a minute, you know, there, you know, I could, I could just easily write these success stories myself and I thought what if I get the people on to, to come in and share it in their own words and their own experience from around the world and I thought there has to be I think on platforms like YouTube that cre credibility factor where people see that these aren't just made up stories they are real that people do have successes with you know all sorts of different techniques because different people choose different techniques and have successes with different ways of doing things and that's what's so great is you see how someone else used it and applied it and the result they got and then you think, well, hey, that wasn't that hard. I think I could do that. So it gives you a little bit of confidence to try and then when you try, you get a result, then you start feeling more secure within yourself about what you're doing and what you're creating because we are creating and choosing, you know, like that. YouTube I did ages ago about there's all the different books on the bookshelf and you just literally pull one out and you pick that one to read it doesn't mean the other one cease to exist it just means you don't want to read the other ones which might be you know I'm poor I'm broke I'm overweight I'm you know in a great relationship you go hey I want to read that book but all the other versions of I'm single I never get married I get married and I have 10 kids all those other books are on the bookshelf too so you pick the one you want to read and then you become that version and right this is what 
I love that that whole thing that everything is already created. You're selecting, really. We're not really consciously creating anything. We're selecting options. So absolutely you've selected an option of being loved and being in a relationship that's the option you selected and that's what you're telling us today is the evidence that it's happened yep absolutely and thank you for for having this platform for all of us and everything you do it's it's you're amazing and and you've helped thank so you, many Jay. people yes thank you and 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 I just want to say, if I can do this, anybody can do this <laughs> because I didn't think it would happen. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and you gave, you let me know it could happen. And that's all it took. A little spark. Yeah. So thank yeah. you. Thank you for appreciating. I'm, I look, I'm just so grateful to Google and YouTube that we can all connect on very specific yes. subjects like this. I think how the hell, you know, like I look back when I was first starting, my girlfriend and I used to go to the bookshop, buy books, get a highlighter, highlight the books, and then we'd just be her and me talking about stuff. And, you know, it was like, I just think how that's changed. I mean, I still do that. I still get a highlighter because, you know, I'm just, I like the book. I like the smell. I like the highlighter. I like yeah. the look of it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, switching on a YouTube and listening to something very specific about something you want to learn about, I mean, that is just a brilliant, brilliant it's like you got this giant magnifying glass yeah. on the very subject you want. I think whoever designed this whole system and put it together, wow, wow, wow. Yeah, it's just done so much instant good. Instant help. Yeah. Right? Great. Instant help. Instant <laughs> help. And you can do it quietly where you don't yeah. have anyone trying to sell you anything. You've got that distance. You've got that privacy. You've got that I can learn as much or as little as I want. I love all those features for, from a user point of view that it really allows people to observe and look without jumping into things straight away. You can really observe from a distance before you go in a little bit further. So you build your trust and you move towards the things that you resonate with. I love that. I think it's so right. good. Yep. All yeah. Done. Well, thank you, Jay. Thank you. Thank you. It's wonderful. I will put down below anything Jay and I talked about today because there was lots of bits and pieces that – uh, we have explored and talked about, so I'll put links to those and playlists down below so you can check it out. And, Jay, do you want to say bye to everybody and then you and I can say bye in private when I stop recording? Bye, everybody. Thank you. And um, hang in there. It's all happening. And enjoy the journey. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining us for this interview. I hope you enjoyed it. And Jay, are you able to answer comments in the thread if people ask you questions? Uh, yes. Okay, lovely. All right, everybody. See you in the next one.